everyone, Armando here. Uh, the video and images you're about to see are of the orphanage in Mexico called Agua de Vida, which means water of life. And I want to share my experience um, with you guys. It was a three-day event. We went Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, we went with a guy named Chris Resonant, who uh, goes about 20 times a year and leads the missions there. In fact, uh, this is Chris right there holding the baby. But I wanted to share with you um, something that God put on my heart. A lot of the images you're about to see uh, are the kids, you know, being super happy and, and just like nothing happened because the event that I'm going to share with you, it took place after I videotaped all of this. Um, so it was a Saturday. It was just right after lunch. Me and a guy named Carlos were on our way back to continue on building and constructing the uh, Bible study worship center for the children. And all of a sudden we started hearing children screaming and we turned around and the kids started running towards us and they said, uh, Ayuda, ayuda, el pastor se cayó, which means help us, to come help, the pastor fell. And so immediately we ran back and this was this was very scary because I get there and there's children crying everywhere and the first thing I see was the Pastor Mario's forehead um, he had a big bloody bulge on his forehead from falling down and he was foaming at the mouth and he I've never seen anything like this he was he had spasms like he wanted to get up but he came down he wanted to get up again and it was just I've never seen anything like this he was he was just snoring so loud and I was holding his head and we were putting water on his on his hair because it was a really hot day and we we're just trying to keep him cool and we started praying for him and, and all the kids again they were just devastated and I started thinking to myself you know this this is the guy who runs this place and you know how can this be happening to, to the guy running an orphanage of 30 kids and that is when I, I, I told myself this is and this is when I knew this is my destiny to help orphanages throughout the world. Um, this is just one story, and there's plenty of them around the globe. I wanted to read a Bible verse for you guys. Um, it comes out of James 1, 27. But before I do, I just want to read the, the verse 20 sec the sec 22nd verse. It says, Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Okay, and then it goes into saying, Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. And now I'm going to read to you from David Platt's book called Radical. It's a great book. I recommend that you get it. It says that today more than a billion people in the world live and die in desperate poverty and they attempt to survive on less than a dollar per day. Close to 2 billion others live on less than $2 per day. That's nearly half the world struggling today to find food, water, and shelter with the same amount of money I spent on french fries for lunch. Now get this guys, more than 26,000 children today will breathe their last breath due to starvation or a preventable disease. And I wanted to share with you um, really quickly uh, something I, I heard through a pastor many years ago at a place called Forest uh, College Briefing. Um, it was a place where a lot of uh, people got together and, and heard a speaker talk about Mother Teresa. And he said something about Mother Teresa that I'll never forget. Um, they asked Mother Teresa, you know, what do you think is the number one thing in the world that needs to change. And people thought that she would say starvation and food and water. But do you know what Mother Teresa said? She said that the number one thing that needs to change, the number one thing that that hurts the world the most is loneliness. That, that there's a lot of lonely people and children in the world. And that just needs to change. So I'm gonna do my part. I hope you do yours. Um, I pray that you go on to facebook.com slash helpfeed1 and join me in this journey where we help change the world one, one life at a time. Thank you.